So let's remove this part. So this is the top cover. As you can see, it's different from the rear side. This is a little bit, well, how you call it, like sanding paper or something. And this is uh, flat. I'm not sure what the English word of it word is. I have to look into that. So, wow, I didn't expect this actually. So, this LED panel has side emitting LEDs. So the LEDs are positioned at this place and also at this place. So they light the LED panel from, from the edge and then it separates all over the, uh, the LED panel. And here you see the LEDs. So this is a protective cover. Use this before for a really small product, but if there are any scratches in the back, it results that you see on the other side, you see the scratch um, having extra light on it. So that's not, not uh, really nice to have, so we have to be careful with it. So the wires are put over here and over here, and they're going to this LED panel, but I see also a wire going from this direction to that direction. I'm wondering why they should do that because these are four wires two of them are going that way and two of them are going this way so let's see if I'm gonna press the edge lid from the from the bottom from some from this way I should be able to remove remove it wow 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 oh this is so nice so nice to see this is the edge lid panel. I see that there is even a protective cover over it. So let's see if you can see it in the camera as well. This one is the front cover. This one is to, um, to make the, the product really look diffuse. I'm guessing if I'm only using this one, you can see the, the dots. There are fine dots. I'm going to show it in the camera. It's better. So let's remove this part. Really careful with this. So let's see if you can see it. But there are small dots over here. Really small dots all over the place. And when the panel is lit from the edge, the light will fall into the uh, the dots and create a, um, a visible light. So let's put this one here as well. And let's check out the LEDs. So here I have the LEDs. Maybe it's better if if I use the camera. I'm not doing this a lot of times, but I think it's better if you just see it over there. So here you see the LEDs, and as you see, there's a difference in color of these two LEDs. And I'm guessing one is from for the warm white, and one is for the uh, cool white. Uh, Part. So I'm gonna show you the entire LED strip So in case you have to repair it or something But maybe it's also fun to count How many LEDs are actually on this device So we start from the left We have A1, B1 And let's go to the right And then we see A38 and B38 So on one side of the panel There is uh, 76 LEDs on, on, on this side, let's zoom out. So 76 LEDs on this side and also on this side the same uh, LED strip. At least I uh, guess and expect that it should be the same. So we see B57. The uh, spacing between those LEDs are really different on this side. Well, I didn't expect this. I would expect exactly the same PCB on both sides. So we have A38, B38, and we have here, we have a lot more LEDs. Wow, didn't expect that really. So while I was uh, inspecting this LED panel, I found out that this diode, diode, is um, 
is not uh, connected anymore to the device. So I'm gonna re-solder it, but as you can see, this is not good. I have to replace it. I cannot can't do it with my nails. Let's see if I uh, if I use my tool for it. Okay, this is really interesting to see. I'm using the camera now as vision. Will that go? Okay, we have to put it over there. But I'm not gonna connect this one yet because I didn't do anything on this device and I want to make sure that um, everything was working correctly there we have another diode and there is one more and it's connected very well so these things can happen during assembly there's always a possibility that there is something uh, going wrong with it so let's see if I can zoom in with this camera on the diode but as you can see this one is perfectly soldered on the device so let's see if there's even more yes there is one more over there and there is the last one is over there so it tries so what I'm gonna do now is uh, put power on the device and see um, what happens with the LED that is not uh, having the diode connected uh, on the side and I'm also wondering why they have put the extra cable on it the only reason I can guess for now is that they have used this extra cable as um, a, a way to divide the power between those two LED strips so we have this LED strip which has uh, 76 uh, LEDs and this one was a lot more what was it? it is 57 uh, multiplied by, uh, by 2 so that is 113 so 113 LEDs over here meaning that this part will consume a lot more power than the LEDs on this side so the only reason I can think of that they have used uh, this is the entrance of the power supply it's going nice to both sides so to this side and to that side but I'm guessing that somehow this one has consumed, consumed more power than they are allowed to put on this uh, connector only and maybe they have divided the part so that some power is also coming from this part so we're gonna check it out I'm gonna remove the cable anyways and let's see what happens but first let me put this camera back on the position so now I'm gonna put this uh, power supply over here and I just noticed that the side of the uh, uh, frame is also uh, having adhesive tape so this is uh, holding the cable to, uh, to, the, uh, to the frame so it won't get loose so connected the power supply and now connecting the 220 power supply so this is a lot of light and the first thing that I notice is that all of the LEDs are working even though that on this side we just found out that one of the LEDs of one of the diodes was not uh, fixed to the uh, to the device but it is still working so apparently it's not crucial let's check if it's also working uh, on warm white this is uh, white and now it's getting warm white oh it's really bright too bright for me to uh, look into so let's try to dim it a little bit so everything is working over there every LED is also working on this space so apparently the diode that is uh, not crucial for this operation and let's switch the LED colors on this warm white so uh, actually it's really uh, fun to see so they uh, whenever you want to go to warm white I was yes this is 
in between. So you have a little bit of uh, warm white and a little bit of white. But now the test comes to see if I disable the device. So I'm um, gonna remove this cable. So this is the power supply and then it's split to both, both ends. And I want to see what happens if I uh, remove one of the cable. If that is even possible because it's this one is also glued to the frame. 